226, train up a child dot in the way he dot should go, and when he is old, he will not depart from it. When the police make your kids play in a blow up jail cell. Jail cell with kids in it. How you start? How do you start? You teach your, you got kids playing in a jail cell? What kind of shit is this? Oh, this is shit. This is some crazy shit. I've never seen this before. They, they got kids playing in a jail cell. You see this shit? Fucking jail cell. Blow up jail cell. Look kids, this this is what we teach our kids. So this is what we do. Really? Oh my God. I've seen it all. <laughs> we in Morrow, are you kidding me? What the? A terrified nine-year-old boy dangled like a raw piece of meat in front of a pack of prisoners. His crime, stealing pocket change from his mom and lying. A 14-year-old girl bullied by female inmates, even called a whore. Her crime, sexting and disrespecting her mom. And a horrified young boy picked up and shoved in a jail cell by guards. His crime, smoking and sneaking out at night. These kids are serving a sentence handed down, believe it or not, by their very own parents. The parents have gotten to a point that they say, I need help, and I'm willing to come to law enforcement to get help. It's called Consider the Consequences, a controversial program in Bibb County, Georgia, that first gained national attention when this video went viral of Judge Verda Colvin delivering a stern warning to kids about what life is like behind bars. Is that what you want for your lives? Come on! Somebody raping you in the middle of the night because you're the new meat on the block. That's the reality. Consider the consequences at its basic level is an attention grabber for kids who've gone awry. Kids who their parents can't connect with them anymore. Stop acting like you're trash. Care about your future. Be somebody. Anybody can be nothing. It's designed to prevent juvenile delinquency. Sheriff David Davis says it's a wake-up call for kids aged 9 to 17. We've had them uh, become start stealing. We have them being the straight program. But we don't have the part of scared straight where you have these big burly inmates just screaming at the, at the kids. Oh, really? <laughs> Once the sheriff left the jail and the bar slammed behind us, our crew was shocked at what went on. Pat your head and rub your stomach and say I am a thief. Prisoners berating and cursing at the children. Young girls ordered to clean the toilets of inmates without gloves. Children thrown in cell blocks with hardened criminals, even murderers. Clinical and forensic psychologist Dr. Judy Ho says the only consequences of a program like this are bad consequences. A program like this can actually harm them. It can traumatize them. And what do traumatized children do? They often act out. They often turn to a path of crime. And as adults, they end up back in the system where they were just an observer. After reviewing the Consider the Consequences program footage at Crime Watch Daily, we thought we needed to come back here to the courthouse to sit down with the judge and with the sheriff to get their reaction. When we first told them about our footage, Bibb County actually emailed us back saying they had put the program on hold and launched an internal investigation. Now, the moment of truth. Were you surprised by this? There's some intense scenes in that. And, and sometimes uh, the program is not meant to be uh, on some levels that intense, but sometimes you have to reach these kids where they may be. Does anything in this video shock you at all? The only thing that's a little shocking is when the little boy is, is, is put up in the air, but I understand what they were trying to do because they were trying to get him to go into the cell. The it's cool when they do it, it's a problem when I do it. Fuck em, fuck em. birds of a feather. They flock together, they make you a solace. We're gonna come out and then he sit in that cell and he wasn't going in. And so they were trying to, I guess, show their authority. It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up.
Friday. That was a situation where it got a little bit, uh, for lack of a better term, amped up. There could have been some harm that could have come uh, to that young man. They could have dropped him. What about the part where the women are screaming into the 14-year-old girl's face, calling her a whore, using some intense language? They didn't put their hands on, on the girl. They didn't try to uh, fight her or anything like that. But uh, even the parents know when they uh, sign up uh, their children that, you know, course language is going to be used. This is this is how, how it is like to be in a jail. Isaiah 5 verse 20. Woe to those who call evil good and good evil, that who put darkness for light and light for darkness. Who put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. This verse can be interpreted as a warning of judgment for those who try to justify evil. Do you think that those children needed that? The ones that you have in there? Yes. Yeah. I really applaud Judge Colvin for making this a priority. However, I don't really see the effects of the positive influence that she's talking about, and that really needs to be the core of a program like this. So did the parents really have any idea of what's happening to their children behind bars? We went to the mom of that little nine-year-old boy, Trovante Relford. Did they tell you what would happen during the program? He told me, uh, you know, some things, but... he t What did he tell you? He told me that they went in the back and the inmates were yelling at the kids with the push-ups and things like that. And you're okay with that? <laughs> Not really. Then Zaneda watches the video with her little boy. Wow. She's initially shocked and Trevante still seems traumatized. Do you remember that day? What do you think you learned? That told me that's the... You feel that he needed that? Yes. Because you were at a sort of a brick wall with him. Mm -hmm. um, and you're okay with everything that transpired? Yeah. Are you going to stop stealing? Yes, ma'am. Because what happens if you don't? I'm going back to jail. But just two weeks after his terrifying time behind bars, Trevante is in trouble again, suspended from the school bus for bad behavior. They seem to be